This is a reusable recipe mat, a type of soft mist inhaler. It helps to deliver a specific amount of medication to your lungs. It is important that you use your inhaler correctly so that you can get the full dosage and increase effectiveness of the medication. Hi, I'm Nurse Ho Ping. Today, I'm going to show you how to use a reusable recipe mat. If you are using a new reusable recipe mat inhaler for the first time, you will need to prime it once. Keep the cap closed. Press the safety catch and pull off the clear base. Insert the narrow end of the new cartridge into the inhaler and gently push against a firm surface until it clicks into place. Mark the check box on the inhaler's label to track the number of cartridges. You can use up to 6 cartridges per inhaler device. Replace the clear base until it clicks into place. Turn the bottom in the direction indicated until it clicks. Flip the top cap open until it snaps fully open. Press the grey release button. Replace the top cap. Repeat these steps until a mist is visible. Repeat for a total of 3 times after the mist is seen. Your recipe mat is now ready for use. Check the dose counter to make sure your inhaler is not empty. Hold the inhaler upright with the top cap closed. Turn the bottom in the direction indicated until it clicks. Flip the top cap open until it snaps fully open. Stand or sit up straight. Breathe out gently away from the device as much as you can. Seal your lips around the mouthpiece. Take care not to block the air vent. Start to breathe in slowly and at the same time, press the grey release button. Continue to breathe in deeply and steadily. Take out the inhaler from your mouth and hold your breath for up to 10 seconds or for as long as is comfortable. Breathe out gently away from the mouthpiece. Replace the top cap. If you need a second puff, repeat these steps after about a minute from the first puff. After use, clean the mouthpiece with a dry tissue. Replace the top cap. Rinse your mouth with water and spit it out. It is important to use your inhaler correctly and as prescribed for your condition. If you still have questions regarding your inhaler technique, please approach your healthcare provider for support.